Just smell in the air, what do you smell? Your ignorance? Hmm, Sartash. <laughs>
since Sacred Games, he's now wanting to be flex a little more with Desmond Russell, maybe learn some stuff from Nawaz or mm -hmm. so. I can't, so obviously, we've never seen him before that, but from the trailers we've seen him before that, although we haven't seen Omkara. People True. We need to see. We him. need to see Omkara. Yeah, we really do need to see that anyway because we haven't completed the. We need to finish the trilogy. The trilogy. Uh, but I did. I did. I think he looks good in this. I think mm -hmm. his character looks cool. I think his acting looks top notch. Um, the the CGI on this doesn't look as good as even some of the stuff. In, I'm not even comparing Agreed. it to an American stuff. No. Just the, the, the previous stuff, trailer. Yeah, previous trailer. Uh, um, Syrah. Mm -hmm. uh, it just doesn't look like it's as clean as other stuff even in India. And I know, obviously, like I said, I'm not comparing to America since, you know, they spend a ton of money on CGI and obviously India spends a fraction of what they spend. But even in terms of other Indian epics that we've seen, Bhagavad, yes. uh, yes. uh, Baji Ramasani, the, uh, the, the Saira, those other epics, it just, the CGI doesn't look as clean. This wasn't even as clean as the first trailer. Yeah, um, uh, which is strange to me. Mm -hmm, like, me if you've had more time and you think that would be, you would try to show it off, uh, but, and how familiar are you guys with this story? Obviously, for us, we don't know the story at all. No, no. And as far as we know, this may be the 50th time you have heard the story or seen it portrayed in some way. And, uh, I, or maybe this is the first time. It says no Unsung idea. Warrior, so it could right. be like the first time this guy's ever been yeah. told on screen. Uh, right. The guy that, uh, uh, that what's-his-face is playing, not, not Saif Ali Khan. Um, the, what's the other actor's name? We saw him in uh, 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 Trishium, right? Trishium, yeah. Uh, do we do we know his name? Uh, we do. It's just I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Look it up real quick. Um, uh, I feel I feel like he's the hero in this. Here we go. Okay. Ah, AJ. Yeah. Yep. AJ. Uh, Devin. Devin. Uh, Saif Ali Khan. Kajol. Yeah. Kajol's in there. I didn't see her in this. Oh yeah, maybe I wasn't looking. No, you did. You did. Okay. She's the one. Uh, her, um, she was the main female. She was the main female. Oh, was she? On that. Yeah. Okay, I, I just didn't pick it up. Uh, directed by Om Raut. Raut. It doesn't look like I know anything he's ever done. It's based on the life of Tanaji Malusar, a 17th century <sighs> Maharashtrian Marathi military leader. Okay. Uh, so he's a Marathi leader. Okay, so I look, and it, since the title is an unsung warrior, I'd assume this is like almost the first time it's been done. Uh, and apparently this one of the, AJ's production company is behind this kid. So, I don't, I don't know how often he produces his own types of films. Right, but guarantee, you, I mean, if it's his production company, that means it's his money. So yeah. he's got a vested interest in this. Yeah. For whatever reason. Yeah, who knows? I don't, I, I Release date is January 10th in India. So, yeah, it it's didn't inspire as much confidence as the, even the first one of it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'm hoping it's not, uh, like, the CGI doesn't take me out of it. Um, like I said, I'm not, even, I'm not even comparing it to, like, an American Avengers or anything like that. Or, not at all. stuff like that. I'm, <laughs> just, we saw Syrah just a few months ago. And it was so good. It seemed like that had a lot better CGI. So it's, it seems strange to yeah, me. Yeah, I was surprised in a couple of spots at how poor the CGI it was. It looked like this. green screen. Mm -hmm. and that, it, that were just flat out animation. There were a yeah. couple of spots I was like, wow, really? Yeah, it, and that sometimes it'll, it'll, it'll take you out of it, you know? Like it'll. 100%. If, if there's bad, bad CGI in a scene, uh, that's all you're looking at. You're not looking at yeah, the actor. 100%. I mean, it's. I was thinking about this the other day. I don't remember what I was watching, but I can, I can basically boil down when in any film or a trailer, two things that are the most important thing for me above all when it comes to the acting, the production design, the costuming, everything. Details. And believability and the details will affect the believability mm -hmm. if if the details miss in any way shape or form like this is what i love about scorsese when scorsese was doing raging bull he stopped production joe pesci tells this story uh that i and he he stopped while they were filming one of the, the boxing match sequences and he pointed out that one of the background actors actors was wearing a watch that wasn't period and needed to be changed that's the director paying attention 
to details. I feel like somebody got fired then. I don't know if that happened, but I do know that's why Scorsese's films are so good because he's such a he pay, as does Spielberg, as does Christopher Nolan, as does I could go down a list of a bunch of directors who they pay attention to the details because those details can pull the suspension of disbelief yeah. and the believability. If I don't believe you, then I I disconnect. So when CGI does that, yeah, granted, we understand they're not working with the same budget, but that then don't do that shot. Yeah. Because the details and the believability will disconnect me from what I'm well, watching. Well, like I was saying, I'm not even comparing it to that. I'm comparing it to Syrah. That I, that's what I came out it to two, two months, ago. months ago that we thought was great and, and the CGI we thought was fantastic. Yeah, and so I'm comparing it to that and it's it, it doesn't hold up the, the CGI. Like I said, I haven't seen this film, so I don't know. And it's also possible, I've seen this happen before. Uh, this happened with the trailers, if I'm not mistaken, we watched the trailers to Aquaman. And the very first trailer we saw, we were a little bit unimpressed with the CGI and thought they probably had to squeeze something out and they're not done. Because usually post-production is being worked on until like, yeah. right up until release. But and then afterward... This it, film comes it, out in like 20-something days. They could, from when this trailer was made to release, they could still be cleaning up CGI, but they had to get the trailer out. Yeah, maybe. But if that's the case, then don't create a trailer that shows your CGI flaws. <laughs> yeah. If that's my biggest takeaway. It's like, because I, I couldn't focus on a lot of, you know, their acting. And like I said, I enjoyed Saif Ali Khan's part in this, and the music sounds really good. Um, or the story I, the thing that I'm, I'm happy about and I would like to know more about is this two groups of Hindus fighting each other is that what this is I have no idea I, I, th I think that's what it was saying it was okay. that it was, it was it was war between two groups of people who both were, were Hindu um, yeah but I wish I could learn more and I did I got pulled away a little bit with some of the CGI. Yeah, so let us know what you thought of it down in the comment section below, please. Uh, and let us know, like, we missed if we're, like, if we're just completely go. ignorant about this. You can, you can let us know, unless you're just a fanboy of one of these actors. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm not just going to tell you I love something when I don't. <laughs> but like True. I said, it wasn't really the acting that, that was, that was no, I had the I problem with here. Ne neither. It was the, it was the CGI of this that, that, that kind of brought me out of it. But let us know what you thought of down in the comments.